Hi guys, I'm Olivia here today with light panels on the farm talking about Astra. Now, if you've done any type of production work in the past several years, then you've probably come across the light panels one by one. It's truly become an industry standard. Now, with their years of experience building LED fixtures and getting feedback from users like you, Light Panels has developed Astra, the next generation one by one. The Light Panels team has raised the bar on how an LED panel performs and what it looks like. You really get to see this in the greatly improved brightness, superior color, active or passive cooling, and modular design. Now, when you experience this light, you really get to appreciate the fact that no detail has been overlooked. And you see right away that Astra has literally been designed with you, the user, in mind. It can be customized to fit your application and, most importantly, to your budget. I'm here today with Pat Groswent, co-founder of Light Panels. You've got 35 years of uh, gaffing experience under your belt. A lot of lighting, a lot of great people that I learned under, yeah. Right, so it's uh, fair enough to say you've got some experience there. I'll agree. All right, <laughs> so today we're talking about Astra, and I guess let's go straight into the brightness of this light. It's a lot brighter. It's a lot brighter. It's four times as bright as the existing one by ones that are on the market that your clients are used to or have seen before. Okay, and uh, you guys are known for the flagship one by one, your light panel, the first generation. So let's talk about some of the improvements of this second generation one by one panel. Okay. Well, one of the biggest things is obviously what you brought up first, which is the brightness. It just, it's, it baffles people how something so small can be so bright. So we're four times brighter. Yeah. And the reason that we're four times brighter is the design that we incorporate with the LED chip mm -hmm. and the lensing. The lensing specific to us from our design. It attaches to the LED to give you a very excellent spectrum of light output okay. as well as beam angle and spread. The intensity is very important, but also the color quality of the light right. is so important with all of our products. And we have a really high CRI. We were able to achieve that through our dictating to the manufacturer of this chip what standards we had to be able to hold up to time and time again. Now with this light being so much brighter, how does that change the way that you're using it? Well, a lot of times people are always striving to have the brightest light possible because they can always take the intensity down. Right. And what we're achieving by having it four times brighter than the existing one by ones is the fact that you don't have to play the light as close to talent. Uh, inverse law, the further it goes, the wider the beam angle of light spreads, but also the intensity drops. So now we're giving you more opportunity to set the light further back, still get that same quality of light illumination mm -hmm. and color temperature and mixing it to what you need from a greater distance and still having enough light. So it's a, it's a huge improvement in a lot of individuals' different style of usage where they want to have a little bit more room around the talent and the camera. And by having it designed to be so practical and so bright, now you can do it. Now, how are you managing the temperature on this light? When you talk about temperature, I think you're talking about the internal temperature of the LED, correct? Yes. So as we've always been bringing up, thermal dynamics is a really important part to all of our products because mm -hmm. we want a, a long running product for their investment, a good ROI, if you will. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's so unique about this is the fact that we use a solid aluminum core mm -hmm. that the LEDs are attached to for even distribution of the heat mm -hmm. coming off of the die. And by the way the air is passed through either in a passive or an assisted through a silent fan mode, you're getting proper cooling of mm -hmm. that LED while you're delivering the amount of light. So in managing those thermals, we're getting the optimum uh, brightness and color from the LEDs. Correct. So gotcha. one of the advantages we've designed into it is the fact that in the back of the unit, we have an internal fan, but that internal fan can be switched off. Mm -hmm. And that allows you to run it in silent mode if you're very close to a microphone or a subject matter mm -hmm. where it's going to be distracting or a nuisance for the mixer. And all it's doing is dropping the intensity down. You still, in that mode, have twice as much light from the existing. So the value is you want as much light as it's capable of. You have the fan on. Mm -hmm. And if you need it to be in a silent mode where it's a little closer to talent, 
you just flip a switch and it goes into fanless mode. So the passive takes over. Pat, something that I noticed also was the new modular design on the Astra. Can you tell me about that? Uh, what we have here is our base unit, for instance. And we have a cover plate, as you can see, with our logo on it. If you were to take that cover plate off, uh, no tools are required. We could take this DMX module. Right. Uh, simplest way to do it is to tilt the light and just snap it and lock it into place. It lights up with the logo okay. and it goes to a menu. It's right. telling us right away what's happening with the light, where its level is as far as output, color temperature. And the benefit of the modular design is we're going to continue and increase modular pieces for wired or wireless control and just keep allowing technology to take us to a more premium position with the light. Okay, so with this DMX control, what exactly can we control on the light? We can control everything from the color temperature. Mm -hmm. Manually, we can control the color temperature shifting from full output mm -hmm. to daylight to tungsten and back and forth. Okay. What the DMX module allows for is the same control through a control board, just like our existing one by ones do, okay. but with more interface available so you can see what's happening with the unit. The really cool thing about this, no pun intended, was when we were talking about the passive or fan-assisted cooling, mm -hmm. through DMX, you can turn the fan off or on. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the yoke. Tell me about the design of this yoke. Well, the yoke's designed for the fact that it's easy to manipulate. Mm -hmm. It keeps the light forward on a center of gravity at the same time, which is kind of an oxymoron. How can it be forward a center of gravity? But yeah. the design is so much that it allows you to tip it without blocking any of the light from the yoke below it. Got it. At the same time, tipping it at a straight up angle, whatever your fancy is for wherever you're using it. And also the ergonomics of being able to grab it. For mm -hmm. instance, sometimes when I'm using it, I don't want to reach for the dimmer with one hand and have the light moving. So I can actually Hollywood style, I can grab mm -hmm. it from the side here. I can actually keep my fingers under it to give me a little bit of adjustability mm -hmm. and I can hand manipulate it. Got it. And that's, that's another reason why having this extra space at the bottom instead of just one single point off this right. TVMP is a great advantage. And you know, just speaking of um, contact points, we have a threaded uh, quarter by 20 hole here? Yes, the quarter by 20 is more of the understanding of how the light's going to be used right. in different occasions. Okay, and what about these holes here, these threaded holes in the back? What are these for? This is a great feature because we know how valuable the one by ones have been in the marketplace mm -hmm. for run and gun right. on battery operations. So what we've done is we've incorporated preset, pre-tapped holes for you mm -hmm. to attach your gold mount or V mount battery plate to Got the it. base yoke. Okay. Now with that option, you have two things happening. You have your onboard power supply right. or your battery. And if you like, you can mount both of them and have them so at a change whenever it comes, you're ready to go. All right, Pat, great. So right now we are in a barn. What I would like to do is take the Astra, step outside of the barn and see how it fares in the broad daylight. I love that opportunity. I think it's really an important part of people, especially your viewers, being able mm -hmm. to see how it really looks visually as much as reading a stat sheet. So right now we are outside and the sun is acting as a rim light behind me. We also have that big, beautiful, bright blue sky and it's diffused. So it's acting sort of like a diffusion box. So we're really harnessing all of the light outside. So the only augmentation of the light that we have here is with this Astra one by one. Now we've also warmed up the color to match the hay and the color of the barn. This is what the shot looks like and this is what I look like lit with the Astra. We're going to go ahead and dim that down and show you guys how that looks. So now we've moved locations to the other side of the barn and the sun's hitting me from camera left. So we've introduced one Astra one by one to my camera right acting as a fill. We've also introduced another Astra one by one just to act as a rim light. So this is the shot that we're getting and remember we are outside. All right, so we are outside, it's dark, and we have some mixed light going on here. So inside the house, we have incandescent lighting, and on the porch, we have a really yellow bug light. So what we want to do is with our one Astra, uh, find a nice balance with the temperature. So either we can go all the way warm and hit a tungsten level, which is this, or we can go all the way to the daylight setting, 
which is this, but we're probably gonna wanna balance that out and mix that light somewhere in the middle. Now what we wanna do is play around with the intensity. So either we can achieve a very low key shot and dim the light all the way down, or crank that intensity up and achieve a high key shot and blast the subject with light. But again, we're probably gonna find our balance somewhere right in the middle, and that's the shot that you're looking at right now. So what I got to experience with the Astra out there in the field is that it's a bright light. It's got a great CRI. What I like about it is the modular aspect. So I can start with the base model and accommodate my budget, but then I can really build this light out, and I like that. Now, if you guys have any questions as far as the tech specs or anything else, you can get all the information at lightpanels.com.